Welcome to the walkthrough of the Django Admin website assignment. Uh, we are going to be going through this. You're going to be going through this. And so this is part four of the Mozilla Developer Network tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to go through in super great detail. There's there's a lot to do here. Got, got an outline. Um, so here here's one of the things you got to do. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the auto grader in this one because there's a su couple subtle things you got to do differently. Uh, at some point in here, you are going to create an auto grader. I mean, uh, create a super user right here. Create super user. It prompts you for an account, an email address, and a password. Uh, and the auto grader is going to ask you to create an account and a password so it can log in and it can uh, exercise uh, your uh, assignment so it'll check things it, it checks things you have to make an author of a certain name and a book with a certain name and these are randomly chosen and different for every student um, if you don't have the right uh, account it'll say you haven't done the admin account yet but if it logs in and it finds that admin account then it does things it looks for links and finds things and it's just working through the site administration it looks through the authors and then it looks to see that the names are right. It looks to see that you've changed the detail. All these things that are the things that you're supposed to change uh, in this. And so it uh, it goes and it clicks through here. But book instances, it checks to see that this filters here. So it, the auto grader checks a number of things, right? And you know if you got all the things it's looking for, uh, away you go. Okay. So that's the auto grader is telling you. So it might do you well. And I say it right here, it might do you, you well to take a look at the uh, auto grader before. If you're submitting this to the auto grader, you should look for specific instructions because it, both it makes you want to make a second super user. I wouldn't make it the only super user because uh, you're going to want to be able to delete that and you can delete the super users if you want. Um, and so there you go. So, so basically the outline of this is we are going to edit a file, this models file. I mean, <clears throat> this admin file. So what the admin file is doing is it's extending this administration, right? And so the administration, before you've extended it, just shows you this. And then you can add this whole set of new models, authors, book instances, books, and genres. And the way that works is... And I've got this already done, so I'm not going to go through all the pasting. Um, is it admin.py? Yeah, there we go. So this, all this stuff, this is this is when you're all done. This is what it looks like. You're going to register the model. It has a, there's a couple different things, and then you got to add this detail here, and um, and then it these are this is just this is it what it looks like at the end. Okay, and so you've registered the the genre. You register the author, you register the books, and you register the book instances, and there's things that you're supposed to do. And these are all sort of throughout. This is the first step, and then you're going to create that super user. Again, every time you see this Python 3 manage run server in their, their instructions, that's when you got to go here and do the reload, right? You got to do this reload. Now, if, uh, if this reload fails, and, and probably by now it has failed once or twice, the base to look is in these error logs, access logs or server logs, but the server log is pretty useless. The error log is the most useful thing. Let me show you what that looks like. And so every mistake I have made, right? So this is very beginning, in the early days, I was my allowed host wasn't right. I had mistyped something in my whiskey file. You got it, you'll get used to these things. No module test site, blah, blah, blah. I'm making all kinds of mistakes here. Um, so I couldn't find a file catalog URLs, and then I I made it I made a uh, I made an error on uh, this one here I think is a indentation error because I had this I had in the wrong space here. So what you do is you want to go to the bottom of this whatever your latest mistake is, right? And so this was my latest mistake. There's a lot of tracebacks and stuff. So you got to figure out what these things are. But the bottom line, I don't know, I wish there was a way to clear these, but I don't know how to clear them. It'd be nice to have a little clear button right there. 
Um, they're periodically rotated. Um, so come to this error log. If you go to your website, like this website, and it says something like, this is all blown up, okay? This is okay. We still, in this, this is okay for now because we still haven't built the app yet. We're only playing with the administration interface on this assignment. So that's still okay. That, don't worry about that. Um, that's, the next, that's the next tutorial. We're going to fix that, okay? But all I'm saying is every time you're going through here and it tells you to run the server, well, it is expected that you've stopped the server, made these changes, and then you're starting the server back up. Whereas our server on Python Anywhere is just always running. So you got to reload it. And you got to reload it even if you're just using the admin because it forces the reload of some of this configuration information. And you're changing configuration information so that this filter shows up. Okay? So that's one of the files that you edit. I can use get status here. The other file that uh, you edit is in the models file. So as you go, and I try to point this out in the instructions, and that is these list views that you, some of the changes go into the models file and it's hard as you go through. It tells you to put in some books. Yeah, so this is changing this admin.py file that you already saw there. And then this right here, this is a mistake I made. You're actually editing the models.py file here instead. So um, this is in the models.py and this was already there. This is a big long file and I added these lines right here. So if I do a clear and a get diff, you can kind of see how all these changes ended up happening. So in admin.py, I had all these new things. And then in models.py, I added this one line. And like I made the mistake, you saw the error or I had this with an extra space so the indent was incorrect. And it's not like running a Python program in your own command line. You have to go find these errors down in these logs. But it's the same kind of errors that you've seen coming from Python. They're just going into logs rather than coming out on the um, coming out on the console as you're running your application. So again, you're going to do all these things. You're going to add the pages. And so I didn't add a bunch of books. You're supposed to add more books and the auto grader will uh, probably complain if you don't do a few more books, but I just added the ones with the author I was supposed to add and with a, a genre of science fiction. And so you're going to figure out this administration user interface, which I honestly think is a really pretty interface. I, I'd like to use this in some of my own uh, data. I'm sure I can figure that out later, how to, how to use this myself. And so if you run the auto grader, um, you're going to, uh, it's going to run all these things and it's going to be customized for you. And it's going to ask you to create an author and a book that's particular to you. So you can't use other people's uh, homework. And it's looking for things like, was the alter, author's detail page altered? Check to see if the book, when this blows up and these are red, then you sort of look straight above uh, the red and then you can figure that out. So, um, so I'm not going to go through all the gory details of this. I'll put this into uh, um, Git, right? When this is all said and done and away you go. Okay, and this, I already showed you how to, I also showed you in here how you can wipe out your your database. Uh, let, let me go through that real quick. So this, this file, db.sqlite, so this file right here, db.sqlite, that is a file that is your entire database, right? So I can rename, in, in Linux, move is renamed, move db.sqlite to zz.sqlite. There we go. So now I don't have a database. And if I started running some of these things, it would probably start blowing up pretty badly. See, it's blown up really badly because I don't have a database. And so the way you make databases is sitting. Um... So if you look at the migration, don't they have migrate here? Oh, we don't have it. Um, oh, got it right here. So the, there's make migrations when you do new things to your models, and then the migrate actually creates the database. So if I go and I do Python 3 uh, manage make migrate, oops, 
Python 3 manage migrate. It will actually make a brand new empty database. So now I've just, so if I do an LS minus L, you'll see that there's this like smaller database that has no data in it. It doesn't even have the super user in it at that point. So this, this has this, all my data for my books and super users, etc. And you'll notice when I come over here, it's like, oh, you're not even logged in because that user doesn't exist yet. So, but then let me show you something else you can do. Because this database is here, I can just like rm db.sqlite3, and then I can rename uh, zz.sqlite3 to db.sqlite3. Now, it wouldn't hurt at this point to, when you're doing stuff like I'm just doing right here, to go ahead and reload your web application. I, the, the changes I did don't really essentially require it, but watch this. Now I can um, log in again, and there's all my stuff back, right? And so it's, it's all there. So I just point out that if you want, you can actually save this, you can back it up. You know, this is, these are just folders in a, in a file system that you're running and you can um, save things and make use of them. And then of course, if you're gonna save all this stuff, you can put all, all into um, um, GitHub, okay? So I, uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was helpful. I'm gonna let you do a little bit more on your own uh, uh, going forward. I think that these, uh, these tutorials, you know, I hope by now that you can do these tutorials without me clicking every click. Cheers.